So how many shops are here total? Well, I used to have about 24 national stores, yep. and I now have one national left. And um, see how long they survive. The world <laughs> is changing. This is our green over here. So in the summertime, we have uh, a 40-foot outdoor movie screen. We have a band area. You can sit here, have dinner, and there'll be a concert playing or a movie showing. Wow. June, we're going to have Salt and Bubbles, which is uh, it'll be a wine bar teaching people about wines and, and how it pairs with food. So where do you see the whole campus in five years? It will be a hub for artists, musicians, craftspeople, food, and education. So for instance, I've got a brewery and we have classes on learning how to brew your own beer. It's experiential, yeah. which is why we call, the, we call the center renamed at the Essex Experience, because everything that we're doing here, I want it to be experiential. Hi, how are you? This is Art Hound, and this was started by John and Jennifer Churchman, and we've now got over 300 artists. Yep, about 300. It's all Vermont, so everyone here is a Vermont artist. We paid out, I think, 170 different checks at Christmas time wow. for the artists. You're keeping like 300 small businesses going for months. Yeah. Without tourism and with people being afraid to go out. Okay, so Emily, here we are. This is the Double E Performance Center, and this is where the magic happens. We have a small theater that can be used for private viewings for VIP events, and that leads to the larger Double E T Rex theater that we have for our 400 seating capacity and stage and light and sound. You see this from the outside, and you go, oh, that's, "That's good, good idea." I can see. But in when here you come in, you say, "I didn't expect that." <laughs> I saw the T Rex with my kids, and I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> I honestly had no idea what to expect. I mean, we pulled up and I just thought, okay, it's a movie theater. You open the door and it is a movie theater with a piano. Just finding a gem in this shopping mall. I love this piano. I never conceived this place as a performing arts center. And we're here and there's so much possibility. For me, it was when the piano was opened and the screen turned on. And then I saw the marriage of those two art forms. I just kind of stood there and thought, like, I've never seen this before. The movie theater is occupied perhaps 20% of the time during a week. If we could fill that and fill it with something that was worthy, that would be the direction to take this. Come on down, I got a movie theater. Um, I'm looking to do some mixed use programming. And I'm like, whoa, it's the Essex Cinemas. Whoa, it's the T-Rex. <laughs> and this guy ain't messing around. Have we built a playlist out of some of the clips that we've liked right now? He installed this stage, lights and sound. It was a little weird because it still felt like coming to a movie theater okay, and right? seeing a concert. But uh, everybody kept saying that the sound here is perfect. Every musician that walked on stage. It is. And I mean, of course it is. Dolby Digital engineered this room to be perfect. At first, when you come in here, you think it might be a little too dry or that our sound might fall. And it's not. You can hear every single note, especially Eve's notes are just perfect in this theater. Our piano Eve, as we call her now, <laughs> she came to us uh, when we had a Grammy-nominated artist, Elio Villafranca, and his Ooh. band from Cuba come up and play. We have this beautiful um, instrument here. It's a Stanway D, which is a nine-foot concert grand that they make, uh, the best of their instrument. Uh, could you tell us how this piano came to Vermont? Uh, Ilio Villafranca, he is a Steinway artist, and his comment was, I'm going to be opening up in Carnegie, and we could do our world premiere in Vermont, but I need a Steinway piano. And he was actually the person that chose the piano, so he played a large array of pianos to find the one that sounded just right for him. That's actually how we got her name. Eve stands for Ilio, Villafranca, and Essex. You know, she's been quiet during COVID. Having you come here and perform on her, I feel like her voice is being heard again. How do we make music help us to get out of this dysphoria that we're in and bring life back into our community? Thank you. 
I remember calling my mom and just sobbing and she was like, it's, it's okay, like it'll be okay. And I was like, no mom, you don't understand. We just had a year of concerts wiped. Our whole lives are based on performing, are on, based on touring. <laughs> this is all I've done since I was 15 years old. What do I do with this? That's when I said, oh, I need to really be proactive about doing something. We need to come up with something new. And part of what's coming out of this pandemic will stay. It's not gonna go back entirely to what it was before. Another good use for masks. <laughs> <laughs> live streaming video, that doesn't replace live performance. No. And I miss live performance so much. But there's some good things about those. You know, you can reach out to someone in China or like, you know, Europe or anywhere. I will never go back to playing just job after job after job because I need the money and I, I need to feel busy. Measure of like success to and just I, be busy all the yes, time. Yes, but I feel a little embarrassed that I didn't have that realization as a mother, right? Because I had two children, there's two times where I could have realized, oh, there's, there's something way beyond. We were satisfied with the status quo of always on the go. And then we thought it was normal. Normal. That, that was <laughs> You should strive for, in a way, right? Yeah, you have like absolutely. eight pairs of clothes in the back just like for every gig, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and then all of a sudden it was like, that's kind of stressful and weird. And <laughs> it doesn't make our partner super happy. <laughs> right. I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot that goes into that. But I think also just to see the, the various orchestras we play with and, 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 and bigger ensembles struggle because they haven't maybe managed to connect on that like local level. And that's where they're suffering. And I think for us, it, and probably for a lot of regional orchestras and regional concert series, realizing that your home base is your core was a, a necessary wake up. Yeah. I, I think the pandemic has afforded us an incredible opportunity. Yeah. Never before have music venues been told, pause. It's not your fault that you don't have but people <laughs> in the house, but pause. <laughs> and do maintenance right. and think about what's next. We've realized that there's a trend in the entire events industry, mm -hmm. digitizing, yeah. you know, whether it's streaming by necessity or incredible visuals. We want to be a venue space that isn't known as a music venue. We want to be a, a digital events venue. An immersive experience. An immersive experience, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, we're still gonna be doing movies too. You're gonna come in here, catch the movie on the biggest screen in Vermont, 
and then make your way out for the next group to come in the next day and it'll be a classic concert. And I think that's also an exciting idea is because often the venues we play, they'll be a little one, they'll be streamlined towards a certain audience. Mm -hmm. Here you've got a very broad audience mm -hmm. coming to the space for different reasons. Mm -hmm. How can all that start to be bridged more organically than it ever has been before because it's all in one spot. There's certainly something to be said for doing less better, uh, but I'm a firm believer that the Essex community just needs a, a space to gather. Yeah. And this can be that for many purposes. Art has been a part of our evolution since we knew how to beat on a drum. Having this campus available as a retail center, uh, which I ran it at that way for 20 some years, was fun, but it, it, it's not nearly the pleasure that I get out of reimagining it and creating it into something that the community can be proud of bringing in the incredible talents that Vermont has in art, in music, in craft, in wellness, culinary. We have so much and this is a campus and a canvas that I have the fortune to be able to work with. Mm -hmm.